Sporting Journal Radio, presented by Onyx. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are excited to go fishing with the fishing opener here uh, this weekend. And whether or not the walleyes are biting, it sounds like panfish are starting to heat up. And Eric Osberg from Otter Tail Lakes Country joins us now. And Eric, you sent me a couple pictures the other day. Uh, sounds like you were on the fish. We were. We, we, I... I turned to Willie at one point and said, I think this might be the best crappie bite I've ever been on in my life. And he didn't believe it. He, yeah, he was like, well, I don't know. I'm like, what? But it was, so we left the house at 6 p.m. And we we got on the water about 6.30. We caught our first fish at set. I looked back at the pictures, right? Like it has the data, right? Like it was 6.59 and for an hour and a half, we were spot locked, casting into a spot, and it was one after another, blind. We couldn't, you know, we weren't sight fishing. There you go. We weren't sight fishing or anything. And it was um, an hour and a half of, if you went two casts and you didn't get a bite, you, you felt like something had changed. Hmm. But it, it was, it was, and it was doubles and, um, it'd be, you know, it was, and they were all big fish, even, you know, like the biggest was 14 and a half. And even the ones that weren't 14 and a half, they were still 12, 13. They were just big, huge, thick crappies. Um, and, and we, and Willie got a, Willie got a, uh, a surprise bluegill in the mix. Um, all artificial bait didn't, didn't have a single minnow in the boat. Uh, Willie was using, uh, it's a, Call a tough tube from Northland Fish and Fish and Tackle, and then I was using a uh, uh, just a, a 16th ounce jig with a. It's called a Joker. It's a plastic. Uh, I think Strike Kings make Strike King makes them, and um, yeah, it was it was just lights out. It was it was hour and a half of steady big crappies. Dang, Were, was it shallow? Did you say how deep it was? It, I didn't say. It was about seven feet of water. Hmm. So it wasn't way up shallow and it wasn't, you know, it was the, the, the what the fish were relating to is, is a, there was a river nearby, a river mouth, and we weren't like close to the river mouth. It was just, you know, the river mouth was over there, but there was still, there was enough running water. You know, there was a little bit of current in the, in the lake, right? Like it, we had the spot lock and you could, and if you looked in the water, it, it kind of looked like we were moving. But we weren't. We were just, you know, spot locked. So they were relating to, I think, the the warm water. The the the, for whatever reason, there was warmer water right there than there was other places, and so so they were relating to that. Seven feet of water. Water temp was fifty two to fifty five, hmm. and 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 they were all. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is they were all like. I, I asked at one point, I'm like, how many fish possibly could, yeah, there's, there's the video off of the old, uh, Instagram and, uh, yeah, it was how many fish could possibly be, be in that area. Hmm. And that's a big crappie. That's a big, huge crappie. So, yeah. um, yeah, so it was, it was, a, it was, it was a magical Tuesday night in Otter Tail County. When he reached for it, it almost looks like a, almost looks like a large mouth when he thumbs it right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They were freakishly big, they're, and and again, it wasn't just the length. It, you know, their their side. You know, their shoulders, their sides. They they were tall. Um. Yeah, you'd set the hook, and it it didn't feel like you were crappie fishing after you set the hook. So it was a good time. Now, were you running slip bobbers, or were you just uh, kind of dragging the jig back, or what were you doing with those jigs? So Willie was using a bobber, and I I use a. I use a clip bobber. It's just an old school spring, you know, whatever, right? Um, because you're you're really only setting the, you know, you know, we're in seven feet of water, and then you set the you set the depth at like four feet, and so that the the reason I, I don't know why I do that is so I can take it on and off, and I don't have a bobber stop left on my line. But um, you know, so Willie was using a float, a, a little clip spring bobber, and and you could adjust it three feet down, four feet down. Um, and then I was just, I was tossing that jig and, and letting it, you know, letting it sink to the bottom. And there was many times where it just it never got to the bottom. And same with Willie's bobber, he would cast it and the bobber was laying on its side and then it would, it would start to go, go up and then it would just go down <laughs> into the water. It was just, awesome. 
and everybody it was that fat you know then you, you know and you, we missed i'll bet we missed you know half as many fish as we caught but it was um it was kind of silly hear more at sportingjournalradio.com or wherever you get podcasts did you know there are more than 1,000 lakes in Otter Tail County? Yep, and I'm going to fish as many as I can. I'm an outdoorsy otter. Nothing beats a full day of fishing for me. The lakes of Otter Tail County give me plenty of options to lower my boat and snag the perfect catch. Not an outdoorsy otter? No problem. Otter Tail County has something for everyone. You just need to find your inner otter. To find your inner otter, go to ottertaillakescountry.com. 